Full birthday has arrived in FIFA 22 and in it there is a 5 star 5 star Mkhitaryan and we are 100% completing this SBC and getting him in the club because historically Mkhitaryan when he's got a boosted card it's always been pretty damn good and the road to the final card when he was at Arsenal a few years ago is still one of my favourite cards ever in Ultimate Team. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. To get him, we are going to have to submit an 86 rated squad with an inform. And we're also going to have to submit an 85 rated squad with a Serie A player. And then once that is done, we have ourselves our first foot birthday item of Fever 22. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did pack Lucas Torreira earlier. But our second is going to be Mkhitaryan. And hopefully, as I say, he's going to be an absolute beast for us. So this is the side he's going to feature in, just a simple Serie A squad, nothing too creative. But anyway, let's look at this card. Obviously 5 star, 5 star, instant positives right there. Finesse shot is also nice. And then when we get into the in-games, it's just a nice card, isn't it? Like There really isn't a bad stat on this page at all. Nice pace for a midfielder, shooting looks good, especially with the high shot power and good positioning. Passing looks really nice, aided by that 5 star weak foot should be really really good in game. And the dribbling looks sublime, like all the stats above 90, love to see that. And even his physicals to his credit, good stamina and a decent amount of strength and aggression as well. So other than like aerial ability, this guy, on paper at least, looks absolutely fantastic. Chem style wise, with a basic, he is a 95 rated cam. That is pretty nuts. Um, look, I'm going to be playing him as a cam. I know some people might like him as a striker, and that's fair enough. But I think we all know cam is going to be his you know, most used position overall. Um, I feel like Hawk is a good option for him. The physical boost is quite nice. Also makes his shooting pretty insane. And I also saw that uh, Hunter was also pretty popular for him as well. Don't disagree with either, but I'm going to go for Hawk because I want the physical boost. Let's go, 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 go then on debut. Nice team ish. Like going forward, quite good. Defensively, not great. Let's uh, let's get some goals. Challenge. Good bit of link up here. And now we're in on goal. What's he going to do with his defence? We're going to rainbow flick him. We're going to take off the shot. And sadly, it's beaten away by the goalkeeper. Nice. Left footed ball into the forward. And just like that, 1 1. Love that. Nice bit of link-up play here. Left-footed strike. That one hits the back of the net right before the break. Five-star weak foot on show as he hits the lead for us. Hits the lead for us. Puts us into the lead, I think, is what I was trying to say. And following that, we get a swift break quit. Happy days. Let's see what we face in the next out and then. Premier League team featuring some good cards, some pretty average ones. Let's see what we can do. Nice. Good link-up. Good chance. Oh, good save. Nice. Rainbow flicks one. Can we get the ball inside? We can, and there is a very sweaty, but a very efficient goal set up by Megatarian, who gives us another quick rage quit. What is it with people tonight? Why are they quitting? I think this is like the quickest I've ever got into a game number three, but it's going to be another Premier League side. Much better one this time, though. Well, passing. Nice. Great position in there from Mkhitaryan on the break. Sorry for the lack of commentary. Was focusing, but Mickey, right place, right time to make it 1 0. Good disposition there. Left foot ball into the box. It's a good one, and just like that, it's 2 0. Making the most of our chances. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. I just had to go for it, and <laughs> it wasn't a well timed shot. I just, like, the build up was nice. I thought we can score a banger here, and then, my bad, I timed it really, really poorly. Good movement there. Nice. Good play there from Mkhitaryan, releases the pass, but I don't think Felipe Anderson's going to have enough to get on the end of it. Good link up. Oh, he's got through. Here we go then. Spread the legs. Get moving. Show the pace. Show the composure. Show the finish. 3-0. I don't think I've ever had three rage quits, like, back to back to back like that, so quickly. Wow. Okay then, a few games out the way then with Mkhitaryan. What did I make of this card? I think it's great. I really, really do. Like, straight off the bat, if you run with like a Serie A-themed team, it seems a no-brainer. It would be really, really stupid not to unlock this card because there isn't a better cam 
in that league. And to be fair, there isn't, you know, too many better cams available in the game at all. I do believe he is that damn good. But, like, without doubt, the best attacking mid you're going to get for a Serie A side for, like, right now anyway. So, yeah, definitely worth doing if you run with an Italian theme side. Um, goes without saying as well, in regards to his nationality, obviously he's the best player in the game in that uh, area as well. There really isn't too much competition there because I think there's only, like, five players from Armenia in the game, so yeah, that'll come as a surprise. Anyway, positives and negatives. What are we saying about the card? Pace felt great, happy with that. His on-the-ball ability also felt really, really nice. He felt composed, and um, he was easy to manoeuvre, and like I say, every single time, if you're good at dribbling, you'll have, obviously, a lot of fun with this card, because his on-the-ball ability is really, really nice. Very easy to turn a man as well. Passing, it's pretty much as you'd expect. Pretty damn good, and like I said at the start, aided with that five-star weak foot. Can he cross? Yes. Can he, you know, distribute over long distances? Yes. And is his shot passing gear very good? Yes, yes, yes. Just a very good passer of the ball. Even though his long passing start isn't that great for me, his through ball seemed quite nice. Is he, you know, like elite, like a KDB on the ball um, in terms of passing? No, but he's still pretty good. But I probably would recommend a bit of a more passing heavy chem style if that's something that worries you. But um, I had no issues with him when I used him with basic or with uh, Hawk. So, yeah, there's that. And then we come on to the shooting, which is another area, which is just really, really good. And once again, that fast that weak foot comes into play because it just helps out so much. It makes you so much, you know, less predictable with what you're going to do. So, yeah, another good area of his game. Can this guy play as a striker? Absolutely he can. Um, I still think his best position is as a cam. Like, his best position is like as that secondary striker. Like, how I was using him in the 4-2-3-1, where he he can be used as like a shadow striker that is this item's best role 100 percent so that's where i would advise him if you're going to use him um anyway i think it's time to do some comparisons but like if you want a quick review as i say it's it's definitely a complete if you run with a Serie A side because he just is that damn good and to be honest if you're just looking for you know an impact player off the bench this guy would make for a brilliant utility attacker he's what 200k and yeah, you can play him out wide, you can play him central, you can play him a striker, so yeah, probably is just a case of getting him done if you can afford to do so. I will say this, the only thing I wasn't overly keen on was sometimes his like base positioning wasn't the best, so you might want to put instructions on him to stay forward because sometimes he can be a little bit left behind, but once he does make a good run, um, he will get into the right areas and you saw that in the footage. Let's just make sure I haven't missed anyone out in regards to comparisons. How are we looking in the Syria? Um, yeah, stand by what I said. Like 100% the best cam option. And to be honest, no one here is coming close to him. So yeah, he's definitely one worth doing if uh, you've got a Syria side. So that's going to do us for this foot birthday Mkhitaryan review. Very happy with his card myself and definitely a card that you should consider if you can fit him into your team. Um, as I've said, 200k for this card I think is pretty good price to be fair. Like I have zero complaints with that whatsoever. On the market I do believe he would cost more, especially with the fact that he's now got the 5 star 5 star versus normally he's got the 5 star weak foot but not the 5 star skills. So yeah. It's a good card. Believe me, it is a good card, and I do hope you enjoy using him if you do pick him up. And if you do, let me know in the comments how you get on. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments who else I should review from Foot Birthday. I'll catch you in the next one.